Hey guys, good afternoon. We're gonna do some Star Citizen today. Same thing we do every day. Same thing we do every day. I'm just getting a couple of things uh, moved around here. There we go. Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. Now I can... Now we can do things. Hey, Ola. Hey, Osar. Santiago. Hey, Claude. Hey there, Kathy. Trigger. Hey, Justin. An attacked was it AI or or pirates? Oh, Claude, you had, wait, hold on, you had to reset for getting stuck in a cave? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, Silas. Howdy, howdy, Owen. Ha, <laughs> Keo. General Kenobi. Like, Claude, what was going on? Like, was it just not... Like, were you just, like, respawning in the cave? Well, Justin, I, I know this doesn't help now, um, but... I know a lot of NPC bounties spawn over outposts now, so there's a lot of overlap between bounty spawning at outposts or people are trading. Uh, the the crappy thing is that um, the AI can fire into Armistice and fire inside Armistice and do damage. Hey, ENTP. Oh, Owen. Owen, tell me tell me about your setup right quick, if you don't mind. Um, and tell me about, like, what you chose for... Ugh, I know I'm hideous. Just leave me alone. Um, like, if you turn down the settings, that can actually make things worse at times. Oh, Claude, I know what happened. Okay, so... Did you happen to die or were near death in that cave? Because sometimes, um, like if you experience a death, when you log back in, you will have to sit there and wait for the death to catch up so it can respawn you at a, um, you know, like at a hospital or R&R &R or whatever. And uh, that can take sometimes up to a minute or two. Sometimes longer, because, again, this is Star Citizen. For example, I'm holding down left-click, but I can't fully drink this water. Um, but yeah, that's most likely what happened. And usually, you just have to sit there for a bit and let it do its thing. Sometimes it can take longer than other times, but I have experienced it a lot recently, because I get, I get shot a lot in bunkers, because I'm bad. Hmm? Hey, Patrick! Thank you, man. Thank you, Patrick. Heck yeah, dude. Right out the gate, man. How you doing, Patrick? Ah, uh, okay, Owen. There's the problem. There's the problem. That hard drive. You're on an old spinny disk. Star Citizen pretty much requires an SSD. If there's any way you could put that on an SSD, I guarantee you, you would see a dramatic improvement. And no worries, let me let me take my meds before I forget, because I'm about to forget. Hey, Dad. Hey, Seb. And sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, We've got a, a really bad storm over my particular neck of the woods right now. And I think it's eased off, but the infrastructure in Arkansas is... Well, it's not. It's not.
So yeah. Um, I was basically having to wait for that to, to pass over before I could do anything. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Hey, Aquatic. Good to see you, Ace. Kane. Honestly, Kane, you could just run at max on a 5800. I'm actually... I'm on a 5900, 3080 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, but earlier, I was on an i7 8700K um, with a 1070 running in 2K while streaming. And as long as I stayed the heck away from Orzen, I was actually really good. I was fine. Well, Task, I still have a hard drive or, you know, HDD. They're excellent for mass storage. And, I mean, there's older games you can run on them just fine. Like, I still have a bunch of my older games installed to my spinny disk. Hey, Norman. Rev, good to see you again. And yeah, Chivan, yeah. I, Star Citizen and Chrome share the same thing. They'll eat whatever RAM you have to give. And champ, tell me about buying this caterpillar on the dark web. Yeah, Claude's. Yeah, now there's I hate to say it, but there's been a lot of issues with resetting lately where it's not saving a lot of stuff from the database. Nice, Silas. Good to hear, man. Uh, Owen, oh, I would actually try running high-end settings. <coughs> Sorry. Still slowly dying. It's going to take a long damn time for these ACE inhibitors to get out of my system. Um, but, Owen, oh, what I would actually do... Change everything but planet volumetric clouds. This thing should probably be set to off. Um, honestly, that probably helped me a lot, too. But, uh, yeah. Turn those clouds off. Everything else, you can probably leave it medium or higher or whatever else. Yeah, Rev, I sure can. Looks like we're getting about 70, 80 in the hangar right now. Ha, <laughs> champ, I got you. Oh, yeah, Kane, okay, that's, uh, that's good advice right there. You should never mix your power cables, either. Uh, Hellbit, I have not. Um, I know a lot of people have, but... Hellbit, I gotta be honest. I'm lazy. Um, I'm so lazy... I do not delete my user folder. At all. Whatsoever. Yeah, Keo, that sounds about right. Like, Orizin is just the the largest performance hit because the thing's just one giant cloud, you know? Oh, yeah, Reckless, yeah. Increasing your page file. That's the one thing I've done. So I made a page file. Way, way, way back in the day. Also, Beggar, good to see you, man. Hey, Pablo. Yeah, Pablo, the thing is, uh, websites like Galog, SC Trade Tools, UAX, things like that, um, they don't have access to an API to track prices in real time. So all they can do is either offer you the, you know, what the stock prices are, like what they are at their base, like if no one is trading, or they have people enter the last price they ran into. And um, listing the base is, is fine, but until you really get a feel for how things are moving around, it's hard to tell what's going to be, you know, accurate and what's not. Like, Laronite. Everybody wants to run Laronite. Most sites are going to tell you you can buy it for, you know, they'll list 24 credits, but it's actually 25. Um, but you go to pull up, and it's 27 credits, and guess what? You can't fill up. Hey, Deadeye. 
It's a joke. Uh, Keo, it depends. Sometimes I can get 50, 60. Sometimes I'll just dive down to 30. All right. I hope I have the same money that I logged out with. Yes, finally. Like, listen. I love giving you guys money, but I also enjoy playing the game. This means that I actually get to go do, you know, trade stuff. Yeah, Nexel, like, that's that's the thing. I'm going to apply that and to go back to Diablo Immortal here. It's like, do these outposts not have phones? Can I not just ring up Arc Corp 157 and go, hey, yo, what's the price of Astatine down there? And then, you know, they call back and say, Astatine. What makes you think we got astatine? Caterpillar just picked it up. I got two units of astatine. I don't know why they sound like that. That's just a, that's what they sound like in my head. But um, yeah, you know, I can pick up someone's beacon. He's out of com range, but I can't call these guys to ask what the the price of fish is. Hey, Maxi. Quantum travel complete. Oh, skill, it's fine. It's fine. I'm at 70k. I want to be at 70k. I want to work my way up. That's what I like to do. moon I have also received word that one of the people in my D&D &D group for tomorrow will not be able to make it and we're probably gonna hold off on our current campaign until they can make it for the next time so I'm gonna stretch my legs when it comes to DMing and I'm wondering if I should just, I don't know, bust out the old Adventure League stuff, or... Since it's basically going to be a one-shot, I don't know, maybe a two-shot. How... how do I want to do it? Do I just want to make it up as I go, get an outline? I've got a couple of the old, you know, modules like Storm King's Thunder. And I've got all my not stolen at all Adventure League modules. Which, that was always the fun part, running Adventure League. It's like, yeah! Run Adventure League for us! No access to the modules! I mean, Duxel, they could be. You know, Jimmy the Grape from the Darkness runs, uh... Runs, uh... What's that called? Garrett Family Farms. No, Galette. That's it. Galette. Galette Family Farms. Hey, Infinite. And, you know, Glendon, funny you say that. One of my favorite things to do when sitting down at a table is to open up with the, the Shia LaBeouf live song. Because it's it's the best thing that you could do. Like, you know, that thing is so close to D&D, &D, people have actually, you know, statted out Shia LaBeouf. Like, it's, it's so easy to do that you're walking through the woods. There's no one around and the cleric is dead. Roll a perception check. Fifteen! Out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Oh, that actually kind of goes along with that, doesn't it? An aquatic, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. Hey, no pay. Hey, loudest. 
Wait, it despawned. Where where were you? Hey, McNugget. Moon, we can go with that. I mean, it's mostly scavenged armor that I've been stealing from, you know, what you call those things. The place where you buy stuff. Outposts. Oh, loudest. Like, did you just spawn it out and then I just did the whole unknown thing? Hey, so. Robert, good to see you, man. Ah, oh, loudest. I'm sorry. That is... That is weird. That is so awful. I'm sorry, man. And yeah, Kyo, that animation has been off ever since the ship came out. Oh, no, McNugget. I've got it stored at the station. I just... For trading, I don't really need... Armor, you know? Or if I do, I'm probably going to be in a bad enough situation anyway. Uh oh, it's getting kind of choppy. I guess it does that when I jump around the planet. Hey, Chodzi. Nah, champ, keep it, man. Use it for cargo. Give it to some other starry-eyed newbie. Oh, thank you, Andy. No worries, man. Believe me, that money comes with no strings attached, no favors needed. That is yours to do with as you see fit. Ben, I do appreciate it. Yeah, champ. Give it out to somebody else. Just bless it on, on some newbie trying to get out of an Aurora, you know? Flare up for the VTOL. You know, I don't really do that anymore. Using the VTOL to slow down. <laughs> you did it anyway. <laughs> okay. I will... I will send that to somebody else. Loudest, do you need 800k? We've recently come into a small fortune. That's fair, champ. That's fair, man. That is fair. Ahem. <clears throat> Ex excuse you, door. There we go. That's always scary. Hey, Matt. Yeah, I tell you what, Lotus, I'll send you what you would have made. Wait. You've got some credits to rub together. Uh, Glendon, I've... It's not really a scientific way, but I found not using... Uh, it's hard to explain. I'll have to, I'll have to do it again once I land. But, um, I find instead of, like, strafing straight down, I land much more evenly if I actually apply my retro thrusters, like my, my back thrusters while decoupled, 
and let that set me down. Um, that usually lets me land pretty, pretty flat. Ah, thank you, Moon. Oh, oh I need that. You know what? Let's just, let's just take all of those. You never know when you're going to find a, a tractor beam and maybe, maybe an apple and a drink and a chocolate bar. Oh, good old chocolate bar. I could go for a chocolate bar. What? What? Need something? No, no, no. I, whoa. I could have swore I bought fluorine, or not fluorine, chlorine. Did I did I buy hydrogen? Dang it. Okay, well that's that's fine. That's fine. We can go sell hydrogen somewhere else. Oh you know what, Ducky, I'm fine with that. I can be a transformer. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces on. The Decepticons. Nope, don't leave without me. Left without me. Ah, okay, see, this is the one door that you cannot leave down. Caterpillar, you can leave the lift down. This, not so much. Hey! Thank you, Bet. Sorry, I just, I just got the notification on my phone. It just popped up. I don't know if you're still watching about it, but thank you. I am thankful for that. What I am not thankful for is this elevator. Come on, man. Come on back down. And Squirrel, I think I think that NPC is disobeying the laws of physics, so we might need a Oh, you're here. I never saw you come down. So we need a, I don't know, theoretical physicist? Is that... I don't know who solves physics crimes. Is that a thing? Physics? Crimes? We'll just go sell this at, um, Grimhex, yeah. That'll be fine. We won't get shot at. All right, Grim, you're... Oh, that's gonna be two stops. Hey, hey, hey El Gavino. Oh, Ducky, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Well, yeah, allowed us. You know, help where you can. Feel bad about, you know, where you can't. And, uh, you know. You got the power to to help somebody who is in distress and do it. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, like anywhere from a little old lady crossing the street to buggery and star citizen. As long as someone feels a little bit better, you know? Hey, physics! Physics don't apply that is an oddly appropriate name for the conversation we were just having. Uh, I'm actually on a 3080 Ti. Although, I really miss my 1070 because somehow that thing was running my game amazingly smooth while streaming. Except for when I would go to Orison. Ah, 
Oh, Noxel, you don't have to give it to me, man. Give it to somebody else. But yeah, uh, Glendon, so... This works a little bit better for flat surfaces like hangars versus, you know, um, outposts and things like that where you're landing rugged. But, uh... Like, once you get your gear down, you're coming in. I don't know if you fly decoupled. But, uh... Basically, when you're coming in at a slight angle, use your retro thrusts instead of your downward thrusters, like that, and you'll sit down pretty pretty gently. Now I could have pulled up a lot further there, but eh, it'll be all right. Like I actually find using brakes makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. Claude's lost everything. Noxel, so if you want, give it, give it to Claude's. He could use it. He had to do a reset, and it pretty much wiped him. Well, good, Moon. Yeah, I think I finally figured out what a lot of my issue has been. Like, I would still like to, you know, obviously do the whole set up so I can play in 4k and just downscale yeah BTR all right so BTR the thing about decoupled mode um, you can if you apply your landing gear your thrusters will do the best they can within you know obviously the limit of your thrusters to counteract the natural gravity of your location now, you know, this applies within reason. So, like, let's say you're in a reclaimer, you apply your landing gear, and then you flip upside down. There's no way your thrusters are going to hold you up. So, they're only going to apply as much as they can. But they will do their best to counteract gravity, which makes landing a lot easier. Uh, did I probably? I'd actually will we'll have to practice that. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Lethal. I could have, I could have done a lot better. I pulled up way too short. Hey, Johnny. Uh, yeah, no pay. The 1070 is the one that caught fire. I was playing Iron Harvest and suddenly just, you know, smoke, ozone, like. The, the smell of the ozone and smoke was so bad, Pyrite could smell it from the kitchen. I'm like three rooms away. Hey, Salo. How you doing, bud? All right, get, get out of my ship. Hydrogen. One day that'll be profitable, but today's not that day. Okay, come on. Here we are. Do a scrap run. Maybe go to, I don't know, Microtech. Oh, I love the floaty people. Oh, Solo, not much. We traded down to, or we uh, got down to poor yesterday on purpose, and so I'm slowly building it back up. But. I want to work for it, so. Yeah, Titan, you and me both. And weird, good to see you, man. <laughs> How you doing? I mean, Moon, they are at Grim Hacks. That does make sense. What you got? What you got? Wow! He's had to reset a few times. Let's just... Let's just... Hmm. Ah, I wish we could actually see what they were doing. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Very 
insurance claim has been sent. Yeah, Deadeye, that's true. But I don't like sitting on product. I like to be able to dump it and go, you know? And infinite, as far as that goes, the in-game name is what matters the most for me to be able to do it. Rude. I wonder what ship they have. Aha! Uh, Lethal, the thing about med supplies is uh, a lot of the time they're going to be uh, oversold at a location. So you end up setting on product at a city. And uh, for their astronomical price, I'd rather just do a run of gold or overpriced titanium. Like the margin, like the actual profit, yeah, it's all right. But uh, the demand is terrible, and uh, for the amount that you're investing, you could do literally less than half and, you know, make comparable profits. An apple, they hijacked my elevator. That's really about it. And yeah, Ducky, I am. I really am. Uh, weird if you're talking about the ship we're currently in. This is the C2 Hercules from Crusader. I'm sorry, I feel like I should do that, like, Price is Right style. Where is this? Ah, there we go. Yeah. This thing. <clears throat> the C2 Hercules from Crusader. It features 696 SCU, four best-in-class engines, two turrets, and one heck of a view. Pick yours up today from Crusader. Hey, Wardy. Yeah, man, you are welcome. And yeah, Ace, it'll be nice to be able to sit on product and then, you know, dump it when the price is, is right. Uh, Johnny, this is the best in show uh, paint job. If you owned one during the last best in show contest, you got a blue paint job for it. CIG loves blue. That's like their favorite paint job. Hey, Julio. Oh, Akeem, no, not Slam. Dude, Slam is. Uh, Akeem, you might. You might. You might just have to claim that ship, man. Slam is in a terrible state. And Claude's, I would love to. The problem is, there are no radio stations near me. And it's very hard to break into. You pretty much have to know a guy. And unfortunately, all the guys that I know aren't, uh, aren't really into radio, you know? That's right, Apple. Blue is the most fidelity color. Look at that fidelity. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is that fidelity, I spy? Oh, yeah, Lethal, they love... It's like, hmm, how many times can we sell the color white? Uh, Zach, I'm using a blue Yeti X. The overall quality might be impacting a little bit. Uh, because I'm running RTX... What is that thing called? The voice thing that filters out background stuff, because the summer's coming up. I pretty much have to keep my air conditioner pumping constantly. And I doubt you guys want to listen to that, because it is like... Two feet from my left arm. And yeah, Akeem, like, I would love to go for that. 
but yeah, slam, slam is, like, if you can unload it, you're going to be unloading, like, a couple of units at a time, you know? I mean, Moon might as well be. I mean, we are, we are hauling scrap. You guys like scrap, I like scrap. Yeah, Titan. That's the thing. Um, you know, summer, I live in Arkansas, which is already, you know, three points against me. Um, older house, pretty much need the aircon going at all times. Like, even in the winter, I use that thing, you know? Because, again, it's Arkansas. Uh, Francisco's scrap is hard to sell at certain locations. You take it to somewhere like Crew L5 where no one else is dumping it, you're gonna be alright. Hey, Wayne. Yeah, weird, where's that? Sounds like some Florida heat. Ugh, Hakeem, yeah, I am, I am sorry, man. Yeah, Mississippi is awful. Basically, just like once you get below, like once you hit the south, every state just has the worst humidity and heat. Which, you know, the heat's made worse by the humidity. Like, you start learning the term wet bulb conditions, which is where it's so humid that your body cannot actually use sweat to cool down, and you can overheat in. What should be relatively calm conditions, because the humidity is just that bad, you know? Oh, Moon, that sounds lovely. Hmm, is that a ship? Nope, nope, that's an orbital century, okay. So where are they gonna stick me? Sea clouds, I would love to do that. Alright, let's see about that rear, or the uh, reverse landing. Although, really, I feel like you can apply the exact same, uh, principles to that, using Retro Thrust. Hey, AJ! Algrid? Smokey? Hey, Taren! Give me one second, let me actually get in here. Did you guys see that? That changed my, uh, my approach vector. Weird. Why did it do that? Caterpillar doesn't have that issue. Okay, yeah, coming in reverse did not do that. Weird. I mean, Apple, the mess I hear does help, but, uh, I've never, I've never messed around with it, you know? Sorry, I'm catching up on all the chat that I, that I got to miss now that I can actually read. Oh yeah, gold, I'm basically just waiting for the refactor. 
after doing a bunch of them, after they fixed the whole self-eating economy thing, um, you know, nothing has changed. At all. So the same trends kept repeating. Outside of any sort of special, you know, events like Invictus, you're pretty much going to run into the same thing no matter what. Uh, Smokey, I'm, uh... You might find me singing Tutti Frutti, because, uh, I'm a little Richard now. <laughs> Sorry, huh? Hey, thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joe. Sorry. Joey, not that uh, Joey. I cannot read, man. I'm sorry. Thank Welcome you, Joe. And as far as, like, uh, like with PES, I would actually like to see that, you know. Now, obviously, it won't be, like, the package scrap, but, you know, if you happen to have a, a you know, a vulture or something. Now, as far as, like, your actual commodity cargo, most likely I would say that a large percentage of that would be spaced. Um, so, you know, it would be destroyed, or a small percentage would, would survive. Um, actually, you know, funny you mention that. That actually used to be a thing. Um, if you destroyed a ship that had cargo on it, it would drop cargo boxes. The problem is, it wasn't a one-for-one -one ratio. Like, if you had 500 SCU, and you destroyed the ship, it would only drop a certain amount of boxes. It wouldn't do the full 500. And with this, each box only having... six... units... Uh, it equaled out to about 1-2% to 2 of your cargo. Oh, come on. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait I'm not going to dance. There we go. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. As your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they're no friends of mine. Oh, wow, she got embarrassed. I guess she didn't like my singing. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Claude. Oh, thank me, though. That was... That was, uh... That was not me. That was... All the other nice people here in chat. Sorry. I glanced over my, my fun joke when I saw that. <laughs> Hey, is there? Hey, Lapras. And Death, I, uh... I got a bad habit of liking to dance with those, uh... Those NPCs, you know? Yeah, Moon, I don't think she liked me, me dancing. Russell, that's a, that's a fair cop. That is a fair cop. All right, so we're going to go to... What do you guys think? Artcorp, Microtech. Where should we head? Where do we trade? Where do we raid? Oh, yes, he's doing it. Oh, come on. Why does it always mess up? We can dance if we want to. The night is young and so am I. Wow, he's actually going to dance with me. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Get it, buddy. Wow, we actually, like... Oh, okay. He finished when I did. Well, at least he danced with me. You know, he, he danced to completion. Hey, drawing. Hey, Jonas. Drug, we're not doing so bad. And, and Jonas, as far as cargo runs, yes, with major, major, major caveats. So, um... The thing about trade, 
you pretty much need a very big ship to make any money. The profits are kind of bad. Um, you're going to make less than what you would doing mining, bounty hunting, or, you know, bunker missions once you wrap them up. And if something happens, you could lose all your cargo and therefore your money. Yeah, gold. I don't think he liked me ruining his groove. Microtech, huh? All right, we can we can go around Microtech. We can trade around Microtech. They got diamonds there that are uh, pretty good. Hey, Ames. And hey, Reaper. Thank you, man. I want to get back to doing my state of trade stuff, but just. There's not many changes to talk about, you know? That's it, Ames. High risk, low reward. Uh-oh, Raven. That sounds like, uh, that sounds like it was spicy. And Isaiah, glad you got it back in 2018. It's always nice. I'm like, oh, yeah. I did buy this game. <clears throat> Ah, Apple, that is... that is true. Oh yeah, Raven, for sure. That's that's the thing, though. Um, it's very easy to write an article about Star Citizen. Here, I'll do it right now. Kickstarter game surpasses 450 million. Still is not out. Bam, article right there. And then I just adjust the number every six months, put it back out. I mean, you know, part of it's true, but it's also a lot of out of, you know, context stuff. Hey, Flanbic. Also, Michelle, I don't know if I said hi, but good to see you. Guitar is not too bad. I got D&D &D tomorrow, which, by the way, I will not be here tomorrow because, again, D&D, &D, that's like, that's like an all day thing. It's a bit of a drive. And Claude's, I, I, I've heard it was on the roadmap. I haven't really got to go look at it myself yet. And Raven, that's fair. I'm gonna be honest, it can get real frustrating playing sometimes. I mean, Titan, we do. I mean, half the time, uh, it's us complaining. Like, I feel like at times, the Star Citizen crowd is like the worst detractors. It's like, I want burrito physics. This burrito is too crunchy, CIG. You need to go back to the taco truck with your audio engineers and re-record the burrito crunch. Can, can I not? Can I not? There we go. You know, Isaiah, I have n Oh, Epoch Society. That was, um, I think... If you were in before, like, a certain million amount of players. Uh, Flanbig, I was playing a half-elf warlock. Um, unfortunately, he, he snuffed it. He bit the dust. See, he, he was a warlock, but accidentally. He really just wanted to get back to making candles at the Candlestick Makers Guild. His name was Chadwick. Uh, unfortunately, Chadwick snuffed it literally the first combat encounter. Because uh, he took a, a critical for 27 damage. And his HP maximum was 11. So, uh, yeah, he, he bit the dust. He ate it. Turns out, the candle that burns twice as bright burns twice as fast. So, uh, now I'm playing a, a goblin cleric. Life domain, but his real domain is crime. Ha! <laughs> Apple! Why, yes, yes, they did. I actually, I made that joke. At the, uh, at the table. Because they were doing the whole somber thing. Because we're, we're doing Strixhaven. And the thing is, like, while we're playing, um... 
I'm thinking, huh, this feels a little low stakes. Because a lot of Strixhaven is, you know, non-combat. And, uh, you know, for... And I feel like it's also for people who might be new to D&D, &D, and that's fine, too, you know? But I'm sitting here going, hmm, this feels pretty low stakes, but that's fine. You know, I'm still enjoying this. And then suddenly, Jack! Critical hit, 27 damage. And it's like, oh! It's like, you're knocked out. Roll me a, a death save. It's like, no... No, I'm, I'm not knocked out. I'm I'm dead. We've we've gone over the negative. I am I am dead, my guy. And um Yeah, so yeah, Chadwick snuffed it and now I'm playing a uh a goblin cleric. His name is Sabah Savatori. Or at least he tells you it's Sabah because he's trying to hide the fact that his name is really Seabass. Oh yeah, Claude's better cave physics would be amazing. You know how easy it is to fall through a cave? Yeah, skill. It was like a, an insect swarm, like... Which, ironically, if I'd had like one of those, you know, anti-mosquito tiki torches, which if you think about it, is just a big candle for the outdoors. Maybe I would have been okay. Hey, Tommy. Oh man, you good, man. And yeah, MK3 generic, so I'm, I'm going back through all the comments. I was kind of rambling. Um, you know, for Star Citizen to lose that reputation, it actually has to come out. I'm flat, it's fine. Like, believe me, I am no stranger to character death. Some of them have been caused entirely by me. Sometimes you just roll a bat. It's like that that Picard quote, you know, like you can you can make no mistakes and still lose. That's life. Taren, are you doing first or second edition Pathfinder? Yeah, guitars. We're in fifth edition, and you'd be surprised. I've seen a lot of death in fifth edition. You know what? I have not been to Cleo in forever. Oh yeah, Blither. No, we're talking about uh, a D and D character who died to an insect swarm. And it was funny because he was a candlestick maker, and those anti-mosquito tiki torches really are just kind of like a, a really large outdoorsy candle. That's it, Master. Ooh, that's a good one. I should have made that joke. I don't I don't think the players that I'm playing with know what Star Citizen is, though. If they're play anything, they're more console players. And Alex, we're actually empty right now. We actually just sold scrap at uh Kareel 5. That was suggested that I trade around Microtech, so we're gonna pick up a few things. <laughs> yeah, now guitars, that is fair. Instant death, like 5e got rid of a lot of the, you know, save or die stuff. And I'm honestly fine with that. I really don't feel like save or die really worked in the player's favor as much as it did, you know, the enemy's favor. Because, uh. Just, you know. There's a lot more enemies than there are players. Hey, Revixie. See, Taren, I really loved 1st Edition Pathfinder. I haven't got to mess around with 2nd Edition yet. But I love the sheer amount of classes and customizations. Now, a lot of those subclasses were bad, but they were there. At the very least, they gave you options, and... Even if you didn't take them, they gave you inspiration. Personally, I really miss playing a, uh, a witch in Pathfinder. Witch was one of my favorite classes in that game. This was literally the only arcane caster that could, you know, heal or restore, things like that. And uh, it just had a really nice theme to it. 
Like, wizards were fine, but, you know, they couldn't cast... They couldn't cast, uh, Cure Wounds. And, uh, whoa. Witches, instead of being, like, you know, a damage dealer, they were really more of a buff debuff class. And that's what I enjoy. I enjoy being a support style character in games that I play. I don't have to take the spotlight. I'll set someone else up for the kill, you know? Apple, that is beautiful that you guys cowed them into doing that and they immediately died. And Jonathan, not not a whole lot. We're just now getting back into the trade runs. We've done one run of hydrogen, which was a mistake. I meant to buy chlorine and I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, then we did a run of scrap. That netted us about 40k-ish, I think. All right, and this being a microtech moon, we have to be gentle. Hey, heck. Reaper, I do like the whole series. Um, at the moment, the whole A, I probably wouldn't recommend it until we see the actual rework. Just because, you know, it's really hard to make money with it. It's fun to fly. But uh, you're going to be at it a very long time if you're trying to make money at, in it as a, as a newbie. And that's no one's fault, but, you know, CIGs. That's because the economy is old and dusty. Yeah, that's it, Cody. I'm supporting the economy. Ah, oh, Gravedigger, I'm so sorry. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. We have an educational opportunity here. I want to show you guys something, and this is going to save you a lot of money when it comes to, to trade. Do you see this price on stems where it says 2.100? This is a rounding error or a display error on CIG's part. If you were to buy this, when you look at it, you would think that you're buying this for $2.10 which would be super cheap. However, you are not. You're actually buying this for three dollars. I don't know if I can actually get this even here. You know what, screw it, we'll just, we'll just go the whole thing, whole thing. So let's bust out our calculator. Let's just, you know, bust it out. Our, what is that? Calculadora? How, how do you say that in Spanish? Did I get that right? Anyway, 209, 137. Divided by six hundred and ninety six equals three dollars per unit, not two dollars and ten cents. So when you're buying and you see three digits in the decimal location pass, this is way more expensive than you think it is. That goes for when Laranite is at twenty four point one hundred. It's not twenty four credits, it's twenty five. Same thing for titanium and everything else. So yeah, just just keep keep on the lookout for that. You will save literally a dollar a unit. Oh, Titan! I've seen those uh, those table screens. I love those. And AJ, I would take a freelancer over a whole A just for more protection. Uh, the whole A can't take the same beating that a freelancer can, you know? That's it, guitars. Two dollars, one hundred cents. You know, Jonas, I, I love my C2. It is good for trading, and if... You have a friend that has a, a tank and they need it taken somewhere, you know, you can you can do that. You end up being the friend with a truck. But but I will say and I've got a friend, I just heard their engines fire off. Oh look at that. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay. Ooh, yep. Yay. They made it. Uh, they're going to be disappointed with them prices. Let's see who we got. Anybody I know? Hey, Akram. And yeah, Reaper. Uh, bounty missions. Ah, it's kids. Look at that. Hey, champ. How you doing? Look at him. He just got a caterpillar. He's already doing super fancy landings. Way to go, man. I'm proud of you. But yeah, Reaper, bounty missions and box delivery missions are probably the best way to go. Skimmer missions will make you 20k a run. They only take five minutes. But, uh, man, do they get boring. Where's the place I like going to? Is it Cantwell? I think it's Cantwell. That's what it is, yeah. Can't sell at Cantwell. Only buy. That's my, uh... My little... Memory rhyme, so I can remember that. Where in the world... Is... Cantwell? Am I just miss- Aha! There you are. Yeah, Jonas, like, cargo is fun. I enjoy it. Personally, I find it relaxing. But it is the worst way to make money in this game. Like, I would make more running bounties in my C2 than I would running cargo in it. To be fair to the C2, though, the thing handles like a fighter. Yeah, Moon. Hey, Pagan. Sorry, Pagan. I, I passed out hardcore last night. While watching. I mean, Tommy the Car to All is a fun ship. That has a wonderful, like, engine growl sound, too. Like, it just sounds intimidating when it flies overhead. Hey, Sibo! Parent, really? Oh, that's interesting. I I like that. But yeah, okay. So I've deployed my landing gear, and then notice how my my vector indicator doesn't move because my thrusters are keeping me up. Now I probably overshot my. Uh, nope, never mind. Oh yeah, Tommy. You can put twin size fives on it. It comes with size fours on a gimbal, but I currently have size fives on it right now. And if you want, I could go shoot something right quick just so you can see what it can do. Oh, Volod, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, trade runs or cargo runs are really bad right now. Um. I would say delivery missions. Unfortunately, the Mustang doesn't have any cargo capacity. So you really need a ship that can hold some boxes. Uh, tell you what, Volod, what's... Ooh, what's your in-game name, man? Sorry, my frames are taking a dive. Because, uh, Volod, I don't know if you'd be interested, but... One, I could probably replace that 400k and give you enough to either get yourself like a, a Pisces or a Nomad. I don't have a lot on me at the moment, but I would be more than willing to get you into something that'll actually allow you to, you know, do the non-combat missions. Ah, aquatic. Man, I, I would feel bad, dude. Okay, so during during Jump Town, I did one act of piracy. One singular act of piracy. And I paid the guy everything that I sold off of his ship. No, Tommy, that's what I mean. Like, the car to all has an amazing engine sound.
Oh, Johnny, I know... I know you can do that, but I don't like to because once I get to the area, I don't want it on my screen anymore. Yeah, AJ, that's it. We even tried to return the ship, but he was he was gone at that point. Ugh, 798. Gross. Alright, we're gonna buy that, buy that, probably fill up on flooring. And you know what? We're actually going to do the legitimate method of landing at Microtech, because it's been so long since I've landed a C2 there. Uh, Lapras, I'm I'm pretty much out of money, man. I'm I'm under a million right now. Hey, Rabbit, starting with a freelancer, huh? That's a good choice right there. As far as that goes, I would look at doing the starter delivery missions. That'll let you at least learn the game, where things are, and how to fly it. And uh, they can actually get pretty lucrative, up to 45k a run. With some, you know, slight um, local flavor. But, but... You can also do, like, bounty missions. The Freelancer handles a little bit like a bucket, but it's still a good ship. Oh, gigs, that's fair. Yeah, the raft is a little... I kind of feel like they made it stats to be more like a, a victim ship. Oh yeah, Cyborg, there's random loot in every building. There you go, Tommy, do that, man. And yeah, Kyo, have a good night. Oh, Smokey, I, I did it on purpose so I could, you know, actually play the game and, and earn stuff. Yeah, Volod, you got it. Here, let me, uh, make a note of it right quick, because I'll have to sell this cargo off before I can, I can give you anything. Because right now I'm under a million. You could probably spring for, uh, a Nomad. Do you guys remember how much the Nomad is? What is that, like a million? Oh yeah, um, um, mining would be great. Oh, thank you, Pagan. I appreciate that, bud. Hey, Shimpasta. Oh, yeah, Reaper. Yeah, like... Like Phaedra said, if you can't find anyone here, basically you can just always say, Hey, I'm new. Is there anyone that wants to do, like, missions together? Or go mining or something? Ah, 900k, thank you. And Vola, you can actually, uh, you can swap that out for the Aurora, too, on the website. Basically, what you do is you would go to your account on the website, melt the package, and then just use the store credit to get the, uh, the Aurora package. Um, Aurora's probably not going to be as flashy as your Mustang, but, uh, you can get boxes inside of it. It's a very tight fit, but you can do it. Oh yeah, champ. Caterpillar is a big ship. Oh, Fallout, you're fine, man. Money comes, money goes. Hmm? Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. <laughs> hey, Steve. <laughs> Thank you, man. And you're you're right. You're right. I think I did like 200 million yesterday. I went down to 20k. I was so excited. I was like, man, I hope no one sends me money so I can, you know, come back poor. I enjoy grinding up, you know? It's it's a fun little little thing. Aw, Aquatic, that's nice of you, man. And thank you, Pagan. I'm, I'm proud of you guys. 
Uh, Zero, we're currently on Microtech, which is basically Space Canada. All right. I haven't done this yet in Microtech, so this is probably going to go really badly. Especially since I've got a hold full of cargo, but, you know, when has that ever stopped me? Hello, ATC. How you guys doing? Bonk. Did I hit something? No, I did not. All right. Heck yeah. Hey, up your ma. Good to see you, man. Yeah, Moon, I figured I'd actually do the, you know, what you're supposed to do. And yeah, Dad BSB, Titan is an excellent starter ship. Good to see you again, man. And Peg, that's that's fair. Well, see, Claude's like I said, that's that's Pagan. That's Pagan, that's Aquatic, that's everyone else helping out. You guys are just good people that happen to clump up in the same space, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, Merc! Heck yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Good to see you, Merc. I'm glad I could help out with the day. I know... Ooh. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I know work can be training, you know? And thank you, Smokey. Yeah, Merc, thank you, man. That means a lot to me. Hey, Giggs, it's only, um... Hydrogen? Hydrogen's not explosive, right? Wait, no, it is. It has the fire on the side of the... Of the okay, so it's a little explosive, but it's cold on the planet, so it's okay. And Zero, that's that's fair. It's, uh, it's Star Wars-ish. I could argue Star Wars-ish for sure. Uh, Jay Fall, we're doing trade, and I happen to park for once in the, uh... Miss, are you okay? Are you supposed to be on that side of the... Alright, whatever. Yeah, we're just doing trade today. Building the money back up, having fun. That's right, Alex. Yep, that bug. Come on. Uh, J Fall with Invictus over, it has definitely helped the game run a lot better. Grave Digger, that would be so nice. I just missed my train, didn't I? I did. 45 seconds. You know, I remember when Lorville first came out, they only had one train. And you had to wait five minutes. Now, in, in real life, you know, that's, that's fine. But here, in a video game, it just feels unacceptable, you know? Yeah, X-Cross, you totally could. And yeah, Infinite, I got it. I accept it. Wow, Beggar, you've been getting that to work? You're a brave man. I do not trust beds in Star Citizen. Can I sit? I can sit down. Haha. <laughs> I always forget that I can do that.
Or what's the fun of sitting down, though, when we can actually see where we're going? We. Yeah, Terry. Because like, it's going so fast, but there's so much going by you. Like, really, they need to remove a lot of the detail from this if they want to, uh, you know, make it look better. Yeah, Moon, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, infinite, it was under infinite reach. Oh, Akram, I'm sorry, man. I don't, I don't like the, uh, the orbital stations. I usually make, like, Cruel 1 my home. It's blocking the walkway. Uh, so, dead BSB, the A2 is a bomber. It has the least amount of cargo. The uh, M2 is still a, you know, vehicle car or carrier. It's like 522 SCU. Uh, the A2, however, good to go back to that, the bomber, covered in guns, crap ton of guns. Basically, a uh, an alternative hammerhead. M2 has a chin turret and... Uh, two tail gun positions. Well, one position that uses both turrets and a bit more cargo. C2 only has the tail gun positions and uh, 696 SCU of cargo. And as far as, sorry, I know someone asked about what I would do if pirates actually pulled me over. Like, listen, the first thing I'm gonna try to do is, is you know, obviously get away. But if I know that I'm beat. I would easily and gladly pay them. Because it's fun. I'm not really that concerned about the money. And, um... You know, I think piracy is fun. It makes things spicy. I actually have to pay attention. Ah, yes. Thank you, Gravedigger. That, that sums it up pretty well right there. And guitars, I mean, that's that's fine. You guys can trust it. I'm not gonna trust it. I've had one too many bad times with bed logging to, uh... To really, you know... Give it a... A miss. Remind me to find better legs. I've just been scavenging all my armor. I want... Chocolate ice cream. Haha! <laughs> Why, why can't I eat it? Why can I not eat my ice cream? No, my ice cream! I think I'm bugged. I might have to relog. Here, sir. This ice cream is defective? It... Whoa. Um... Hmm. Well, that's not how physics works. I'm just I'm gonna walk away now. I don't know, my helmet was off. I'm gonna put it back on, though. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, that's it. I, I love Mongrel Squad. Like, I feel like maybe it might be off-putting because I get excited whenever I see them. Oh, yeah, Pagan. I always thought I was just haunted by my trauma, but it turns out I'm just haunted. Ah, oh, champ, you should be able to recover the, the ship. Give it five minutes at the Aesop terminal, if it says claim, or, you know, unknown. 
30k protection should kick in after about five minutes and let you respawn your ship with the cargo. Oh, reckless, really? Darn. I might have to do that as well. But yeah, Joe, for, for piracy to really be a thing, we definitely need more of a buff. Um, it was really good, both trade and piracy, during 3.9.1 for that one month in June when uh, cargo was just about infinite, so you could buy and sell whatever you wanted to because there were so many people in the trade lanes that, uh, you know, pirates had a, a fair pick of people. But now it's very slim. Like... You know, obviously I don't want to get pirated myself, but it, it just it comes with the territory. At times, it's the cost of doing business. And yeah, Mandalinian. It's like, I'm starving, but I cannot eat the ice cream. Let me just go to the hospital to get an IV. And yeah, Moon, it sure does. Although I do have, hold on, don't I have an apple? I do have an apple. Did I not? Come on. No, not, not the pants. Oh. Come on. All right, so pants are bugged. I can't pull anything out of my pants. That sounds weird. <laughs> Sorry, Apple Crow. <laughs> oh, no, no 30k. B win is still good. Where is my star pair? Crew on one. Oh, Apple, why would I do that when I could come up with a convoluted thing about sustenance not working and pants bugging? I mean, I, I do not like these, these legs whatsoever. I'm going to, uh... How about no? There we go. Oh, Taryn, if that's the case, it might be that bug then. Really, Lenny? That soon? I thought they were doing uh, 317.2 first. You know, Phaedrus, once upon a time, when I worked at GameStop, I actually had a lady come in and uh, hand in a job application while wearing a bathrobe. Like, she, she straight up came to the mall in a bathrobe. Hey, Yeti, you're welcome, eh? But works out for you. And it wasn't even like a, like a, a fancy, you know, like she wasn't like going for the whole like sex appeal thing by being some, I don't know, is, is there a such thing as a, as a sexy bathrobe? 
It was like a like a pink Tweety Bird thing. Ah, I got you, Lenny. All right then, I'm excited. I mean, Ginger, that's fair. I can't I can't blame her for that. I haven't worn pants in years, and by that I mean I I wear shorts. But um. Just one of the strangest things I'd ever seen. You are clear to launch. Who, who that be? Who do we got? Really? As soon as I go to target them, I, I lose them? Okay. You know, Ginger, that's, that's a fair cop. That is a fair cop. Sure wish I could look up to see if these doors are open all the way. Staying alpha. I mean, as I, that's, that's fair. I don't think there were any Jedi mind tricks involved that day. Yeah, but Rezzed, what what could she be cosplaying as? Of course not, Lenny. I mean, the ethics of that would be horrible. Dating co-workers and prospect of co-workers can be a real bad idea. Am I far up enough? Yes, yes I am. All right. You guys want to make, like, the longest food delivery in the world? What is that? Are you Euterpe? You're not Euterpe, you're Calliope. No, Cleo! Wow, I was off. Ah, that's why. Hey, John! Yeah, Akram, I was I was just reading. Well, see, literally, that's just it. I was trying not to pull her leg. Although I gotta say, all right, so my 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 favorite thing to do when it was slow, which was a rare thing, was to read job applications. I wasn't the hiring manager or anything like that, but I was a manager, and you know, I had access to them all. And um, the thing about GameStop is there was a lot of people who didn't take it seriously as a line of work, um, which, you know, they think, oh, you play games all day, you work at a game store, you don't do any real work. Which, nothing could be further from the truth. You're basically a librarian working in a shop where you constantly have to teach people how to read. Meanwhile, someone else is taking all the books you just arranged by the Dewey Decimal System and is putting them in their own order. And at the same time, you know, being a, a corporate thing, you had to sell subscriptions to the magazine slash discount card. Try to get upcoming game reservations with every sale, sell the protection rackets, all that, you know, add-on stuff that every corporation wants. But, uh, you know, a lot of people applying for it didn't realize that, so they would just put some of the, the laziest things I'd ever seen on a, on a job application. 
Oh, Yeti, I'm not saving up for anything at all. I just trade to do it. Uh, you know, Titan, the funny thing is the employee discount was only 15%, and, uh, that was only for used games and accessories. You got no discount on consoles. It was actually a really bad place to work at, both for discounts, benefits, things like that. But my, I think my favorite application ever, the only thing the guy put on there was like his contact information and, you know, like his, his address or whatnot. And he wrote, I beat Halo 2 on Legendary. Nuff said. Not enough said, just nuff said. Like, apostrophe, N-U-F-F. -F. Nuff said. It's like, wow. We got ourselves, we got ourselves a champion here. Uh, Dweeby, so right now we're gonna pick up some food, or processed food, from, uh, Bud's Growery on Euterpe. And we're gonna take it all the way across the system. We're gonna take it to somewhere on, or in, the Art Corp system. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I do. I like trade because I like flying the bigger ships and I like moving boxes from one place to another. Hey, Sarone. You know, John, we didn't, but when I was at that time when he when he came in and applied, I had a manager who was an absolute jerk. This guy thought he was Dr. Cox from Scrubs, but he was really just a, a, a short Richard, if you will. And um, he would actually bring people in for interviews just to meet them, which really is kind of an unkind thing to do. But uh, yeah, um, that was that was a whole thing. Uh, Akram, no, there is not a station at Arc L5. That's it, Apple. Oh, yes, everything had to be a limited edition steelbook. You know what? Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta say, though, the, the one the one application that I really enjoyed because, you know, when you're applying for a job, you want every plus you can get. And when you're just out of high school, you don't really have a lot that you can, you know, put down. Ooh, S71, thank you. So, we did have a guy who put on his, uh, his previous work experience was school. And his reason for leaving was graduated. And at first I laughed about it. I was like, you know what? Like, that's good on him for trying. You know, like, that's a, that's, that's a decent cop. I could, I could see that panning out. Oh, yeah, Silas. I'm going to leave the P6. I prefer the S71 more. I miss a lot. And the 30 rounds helps uh, fix that. Oh, Yeti, it's fine, man. I just like having people here. You guys don't have to, you know, do the join thing or whatever else. I'm just happy that... It's... Shoot, a hundred? Wow. I just, I just looked over. I didn't realize we had like 160 people in here. Hello, everybody. I didn't... I didn't realize. Good to see ya. Oh, uh, and always with the weird Morzhov arms that are everywhere. Oh, yeah, Titan. I used to have, uh, like, people I went to school with. It's like, yo, man, can you help me up with that mad GameStop discount? It's like, dude, you... You bullied me all the time like you were a jerk come on come on hey Seb 
Yeah, see, Glenn, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you know, even when you don't have a lot to work with, work with it. Uh-oh. You know, Matt, I gotta say, I really miss the, uh... The, uh... Oh, God, what was that? The Z2? I think it was. Like, uh, you know when Motorola had all those gimmicky attachments for the back of the phones? You could have, like, the uh, the projector or the, the speaker, things like that. Um, I got... The, I want to say it was a Z2. I got that one because it came with a projector for free. And I loved that phone. I love that phone so much. Just having a little projector in my pocket or an extra battery that I could slap on the back of it. Uh-oh. Well. We know where we're going. This is the first time I've ever had that happen. Engines are off, too. Exactly, Ginger. Do you guys think we can get to it? I don't think we can get to it. Usually, if you leave the engines off, you're fine. But... That's... that's usually... Come on, sit back down. There we go. Oh, Phaedrus, thank you, man. Sorry, I just read that. But I want you guys to know I appreciate you lurkers. You guys... you guys mean a lot to me, too, you know? Oh, Pagan, it's alright. I think we're gonna make it. Ha! Silas! Yeah! <laughs> Come on. Don't you dip forward. Oh, it's dipping forward. It's dipping forward. Can I at least hit the elevator button before it does? Mm. I swear, if my elevator ends up bowling me over... Thank you, Archangel. Aw, oh, John Wick, I'm sorry. I'm all out of money right now. Nope, come back. Oh, it's getting faster. It's getting faster. Yeah, Merc, they sure are. Really? Really? Well, guitars, I'm trying. No! See, this is why I stay away from Microtech. I don't have to worry about this stuff with Crusader or, or Arc Corp. No, Kaylee, we can totally get back in. Just have to, you know, hope. Uh, Pagan, right now I'm at Bud's Growery on Euterpe. Merc, it weighs nothing. Nothing at all. And yeah, CT Alien, it's probably because of the storm. They love to do that around Microtech, though. I mean, Kaylee, you're probably right there, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it. All right, so, hmm? Hey, Steve, thank you, man. Thank you, man, I'm, I'm hoping we can make it in. Let's see, how are we going to do this? It's that 1G gravity that's going to be the issue here. See, if we were on Leary, I could do this no problem. Okay. Come on. I mean, no, Kaylee, that's fair. I appreciate that, believe me. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Crumpet. Good morning. I'm in a... 
A bit of a pickle. Hmm. Let's check the nose. You know, Mad, I would totally believe that. How are we going to do this? Yeah, like, now the storm stops. Nope. I bet my elevator's already gone back up. Can I... Can I wedge myself in? Can I cheese in? Is there a weird gravity grid that I could take advantage of? Why... Why are you not real? Why can I go through you? Yeah, Steve, like... I might have to use sleep to cheese in somewhere. Well, Michelle, I'm trying to get to the ramp so I can open it up. Wait. Wait a second. Maybe... Hmm... Nope. I was gonna use that to double back around. Oh, Light, I appreciate it. I might wait to see what the storm does to it, though. I'm thinking. Yeah, Calic, I'm trying to get to the back ramp to lower it. That's the problem. The button's right there. If I can... Make that. I'm not going to make that. Oh, no. I think the storm's about to rock it again. All right, storm. Where are you going to take it? Maybe I could ride it with the storm. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time. It's a race against the clock. Well, Bernie, that's the problem. I'm at Bud's Growery. There's, uh, there's no Platinum Bay here. But, I want to see if I can figure this one out. What can we do this with? I wonder. Oh, we're cheesing! Now we're thinking with portals. Can I walk to the other side? Nope, I can fall off, though. No, Mandalinian, we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's Bud's Growery way over there. I might have to hike to it and try again later. Let's try that again. I think, I think there was something there. Maybe we can use that to warm up. Yeah, I could possibly strip my armor. I think I've got a tractor beam on me. Okay. All right. Let's try this. Oh, no, gold. I want to see if I can do it. And no worries. No worries, Dad. We're going to make this work. So, first things first. I think that's literally the only thing I can lose. Okay. That's all... That's all one thing. Mm-hmm, we slide there. 
don't think that's going to matter too, too much for getting up here. Oh, Moon, I wish I could pull myself up. I wonder. Oh, how I wonder. Gigs, the uh, the wind blew the ship away, and now the wind has stopped. You know. We're going to try something. This is probably going to go really bad for me. Yep, that didn't, that didn't work. I was going to try to keel into my ship. Raisin, can I while I'm the one holding it? Ah, Birdie, does that actually work in Star Citizen? Akram, that's not a bad idea. Oh, I'm so cold. Come on, S71, don't let me down. It let me down. All right, maybe we can go hide in that little corner that actually had, you know, warmth and, and gravity. Where was that corner? Was it right here? I'm wondering if I could use that to gravity cheese in. No, let me use this. Okay. Um. Where am I now? I'm up higher than what I was. I can't get to the front ramp. Oh, this is a gamble. My only chance, I think, is to try to jump on that. Oh no, it's blowing the ship again. No! Let me in! Can we use the old freelancer exploit where you could crawl under it and stand up? Oh. Oh, maybe we can. Oh, Pagan, I'm definitely not going anywhere. Oh, Titan, I tried. Chip's nose was too high up. That's the problem. Like, let me get to the nose here. Yeah. Well, it's very hard to see. But that's the nose. There is no way I'm getting up there. Oh, Pagan's on his way. I wonder, do I actually still have that med gun? I don't. It's getting so hard to see, it's so cold. I would love a jetpack. Hmm, well, there goes my, my health. 
Yeah, Lenny, like, that's the thing. It was upright, right, until I hit the elevator, and then I went, oh, home. <laughs> you think you're getting back into your ship. The heck you are. Oh, man, I'm not gonna live long enough. Pagan's on his way. But he's got about two minutes for me to hit warm air. It's all right, yes. Yes. I don't have a marker for him. Ah, there he is. Oh, Pagan, you're a ways out, my guy. Ah, somewhat less of a ways out. A token I've tried. Unfortunately, we're in very light terrain. The sun's going down. It's getting even colder. I love this. Oh, let's make it impossible to see. So, you know, surviving takes even more stress. If I edge in right here, I can at least kind of get warm a little bit. Okay, well, that pushed me out. Great. Now where am I going? Pagan, you got this. I don't have a marker for you, but you got this. Ah, oh, there you are. Pagan, you're gonna have to land it hard, man. You're gonna have to land that thing hard. Come on. I got frostbite. Oof! Drop the gate! Drop the gate! Oh god! Oh! Oof! Come on! Come on! Oh! 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 Oh, get warm, get warm, get warm. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 Pagan. Oh, Pagan, thank you. I'm just... I'm just gonna... I'm probably still gonna die. Maybe I can eat this apple. And... Oh, nope. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Darn. I'm dead. We were so close. But tripped at the finish line. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair, Apple. I'll just die rescued. I'm okay with it. Guitars, if I did, it was in some armor that I... Aha! Look at that. Pagan, our medical professional. He can rebuild him. He has the technology. Thank you, Pagan. Whew. Whew. All right. Let's, let's get dressed again. Oh, thank you, Pagan. That was nick of time right there. What? Am I not able to wear stuff? Yeah, Zach, I can just go to a... I can just go to a hospital to get better. Uh-oh, what's going on?
Heck yeah, man. Thank you, Pagan. That was a save right there. All right. Yeah, crap, but I thought it was. Turns out the game's just being awful right now. Oh. Thank you, man. And AJ, there probably are. Oh, thank you. I can use that. Yeah, let us have a good one, man. Let's just... Oh, I love this bug. Oh, you know what? That's probably as much as I can go to. Since I got those tier threes. Uh, Pagan, let me, let me get in the ship. Tell you what, I'm gonna... Send this up right quick. Alright, there we go. And we'll just, you know, can park it on, uh, my C2 is still out there, right? Might still be out there. You think it got blown away again? And yeah, Bernie, I think, I think Pagan can probably get me close to the ramp. Oh, Maxi, I'm going to use the ramp to, uh, to get onto my ship. All right. Yeah, if you can just drop me on the top of it, I think I can hit it. Oh, Max, we're going to try not to. All right, that looks good. Good approach. I hear more ships. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. I'm actually... Whoops. I'm gonna go for the nose, since it opens in on itself. And the wind. Hello, wind. N wind! How dare you? Ah! <laughs> Ow! All right, we've made progress. Not a lot of progress, but we've made progress. I'm not dead. Oh, Ron, no, not not at all. Not at all, Ron. Okay. All right, we're back on. Yeah, Ron, this is not the way to haul cargo whatsoever. As long as I can get up the nose again. Good. There we go. Beg it, if we can, like, tongue to tongue it, I think that'll work. Ooh, Blither, that's probably going to be the Vanguard series. There we go. Alright, I can make that work right there. 
maybe I can make that. No, no! Ow! Sorry, the force reaction knocked me out of the ship. Uh, maybe try from the cargo ramp. I could yeet myself through there. Let me try that. Let me put your ramp up. Maybe. Jeez. Ha, <laughs> Crumpet. What is going on? I'm just getting knocked around. Rivix, you give me a second, man. Like, we're almost in. Uh, champ, you can only sell it at either Grim Hex or, uh... Uh, Orizen. Oh, no. Oh, no. C2? Flip, baby. Flip, flip. Wait, wait. All right, there we go. I can work with that. Oh, come on, Storm! Uh, that defender better watch out. Come on, you bucket of bolts. Oh, this is so annoying. Uh, Pagan, don't! Don't die! Just let it do its thing. It'll tire itself out eventually. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm never coming to Microtech again. You know what? Screw Microtech. Microtech was a mistake, and CIG should be ashamed. Coyote, the engine is off. That's the thing. The engines are off. I always power off. And it's, it's doing like 100, 200 meters a second. Star Citizen, everybody. Thank you, Pagan. I'm gonna, ugh, need that ride. Oh, Acrob, I'm sorry. You've got a crappy home. <laughs> Crumpet. <laughs> I mean, Lars, it should have, but it hasn't, just to give us hope. Where even is my ship? Did it explode? Ah, no, it's right there. Well, Hitman, it usually does. Keyword is usually this being Star Citizen. Oh, Pagan, I'm fine. I've still got the med gun. I'm getting into that thing. The longer the longer it's on the ground, the easier it is for something bad to happen to it. Oh my goodness. For Vixie, is that you in the in the Banu? Let me send you an invite. I think it's you. Did that not go through? My friends list is having a... Oh, I can't... Oh, wait, that's right, because it's Pagan's group. Oh, gold, you'd be surprised. The caterpillar could fly sometimes. Ah, thank you, Pagan. Yeah, I... See, I've never had an issue like that with my Caterpillar. 
Revixi, what happened? And yeah, bruh, that's it. Like, oh, oh, the C2 is getting knocked around. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Brandon, hey, I love you guys too. My caterpillar's never given me this much grief. Maybe I can lay down so I can spy it through the... All right. Where is it? Is it is it actually on its landing gear? Is it landed correctly? Oh my god, it is. All right. Peg, it just dropped me. I'm going to run for it. We well, see geek, I mostly just avoid Microtech altogether cuz Microtech is garbo for stuff like this. See, sorry, the thing is... Uh-oh. Come on! Whoa. No! No! Come on! We were so... close! I gotta fight the wind to, to get back in. No gold, there's cargo in there. There's cargo in that ship. Is, now is it processed food? Yes. Am I gonna lose like all of, you know, a couple of dollars? Y yeah, but it's not about giving up. Wait, no. That's what it's exactly. It's not it's not about the cargo. It's about not giving up. We're going to do this. Yeah, Brandon, you're right. I'm going to have to go to the C2 Thursday. See, like like earth and wind and fire. We've got we've got the earth. We've definitely got the wind. It's the fire now that I'm scared about. That's it. Never give up. Never surrender. All right, Hercules. Well, JM, the problem is it's full of cargo. And I don't trust a C8 in these winds right now. It's, uh... It's, uh... It's bad. It's bad, bad. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, Pagan, just inch it forward. Put that cruise control to a minimum, right there. I can make that parkour. No, no! I forgot stream delay. No! Yes! Ha! <laughs> uh, what? Um. What? <laughs> um, where? Where am I? How did I? Whew. Ha. Ha. <laughs> okay. I have obtained power. I have obtained power. Ah, I'm going to slowly take off. Ah, oh, uh-oh. Sorry, Pagan. I'm back it up. I'm back it up. Ah. Ah. Oh, my God. Ah. You know what? Never again. I am never... 
I'm never coming to Microtech again. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. GM, that's what, that's what I want to know. Let's find out. Uh, self status. Not, not good. Not good. Um, we're Rudolphing it right now. We've got a shiny red nose. Oh, we're going to take this far away. The furthest away from Microtech that we can get. Oh, Pagan, thank you so much. That was an amazing rescue, man. Pagan, everybody. Whew. Oh. Oh. oh, Pagan, thank you. I will give that to somebody. Oh my goodness, thank you, Pagan. That was amazing. Uh, Alien, I actually use uh, Toby. It's actually quite smooth. And uh, you can actually kind of look over your shoulder a little bit too, depending on how you set your sensitivity settings, which is great for, you know, watching your friends. Ah, oh, yeah, Crumpet, that was an amazing rescue. Jeez. <laughs> Thank you, Crumpet. That's right, Pagan. I'm sure we can, you know, trade favors later. My goodness, this poor thing is, is beat up. Look at all that. Look at all those dents. All those... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to land this thing very gently. I think my ramp might be, uh, busted. We're gonna we're gonna go down there and investigate right quick. Yeah, token. You can sell it at Port Alisar, but Port Alisar is very dangerous, you know. Oof. Watch, we're going to land in the hangar, and it's just going to fall apart. Coyote, I'm willing to, so long as I can close my my ramp. Right, food is invisible. I mean, I guess I could do like a... a front flip instead of a back flip. I just... really need my... my ramp to, uh... Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's that's not. That's not gonna happen. That is that is broken. That is so broken. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I should just park it. I really should just park it. And that's what we're going to do. Almost the R Corp. And also, again, quick reminder, I will not be here tomorrow, as I've got D&D &D tomorrow, for anyone who was not here for that, uh, that announcement. Oh, believe me, I'm going to get to a hospital. My legs are borked, my arms are borked. And yeah, Akram, that's what I'm hoping for. Oh, Steve, it'll be fine. Like, I can land with the ramp down. I just can't fancy land with the ramp down. You know what? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Ooh, that is, uh... 
That is a bloody nose for sure. Look at that. Look at that. Man. Missing chunks. This thing has seen happier times. Oh yeah, Brandon, that'll happen a lot. Wait, Peyton, is Ron here? Did I miss Ron? Come on, Arc Corp, we're almost there. <laughs> Mike. I mean, you're right. You're right. Oh, Raymond, you missed it. We just had like a, a 30 minute chase on a C2 that was being blown away. And yeah, Michelle, it is it is broken. And as far as the best route goes, uh, pouting. Uh, trade is bad right now. Trade is real bad. I I don't think there is a best route right now. The best route is basically whatever you can get a hold of. Um, now, as far as like a reliable route. Gold from either Aberdeen or Humboldt on Lyria is uh, pretty reliable and decent. And a C2, it'll make you about 69k a run, which is, you know, nice. Scrap is also good. Very, uh... Very low effort when it comes to scrap. Because it's station-to-station -station trading. Um, you can also run Fluorine from places like Art Corp 157 on Lyria to Deacons on Lyria. Hey, Genesis, uh, I've got a 3080 Ti from EVGA. Ha, <laughs> Loudest, welcome back. Couldn't sleep, could ya? Uh, pouting, bounty hunting, and mining are both excellent ways to make money. We're just doing some of the missions. There's a lot of missions that actually pay well. Ah, there it is. Yeah, Geek, you can sell them at the same planet. The only thing that really gets cramped as far as, like, same planet is medical supplies. And medical supplies are just kind of in a bad state. Every city has the exact same demand, but Microtech being right there close to, you know, medical supplies, it's going to take a while to unload. Now, you can pretty much guaranteed sell all your medical supplies at Orizin, because it's, you know, Orizin. Yeah, about it, you're welcome. Let's get this up, because I hate that freeze that happens when comms get up. Pouting, I believe it's redoable. Don't quote me on that, though. It's been a long time since I've done them. Oh, yeah, Raven. The C2 got blown away and we chased it several kilometers. I almost froze to death. Pagan saved me at the last second. Ship kept getting blown away. Oh yeah, Beardless, that's it. Step one is actually finding the thing. Oh, Gentis, yeah, I think you'll find that the really anything in the 30 series is going to be phenomenal for you. All right, you know I can't help myself. I gotta do it. Oop. One last flourish. One last hurrah. And we're down. Nice and easy. We made it! Ha ha! 
say. Matt, that would have been good. Oh, Moon, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, let's... If it'll let... I think my ladder broke. Ah, <laughs> uh, Maxi, I have no idea. I've been trying to stay poor, so I can just slowly build it back up. Hold on, will this thing even let me repair it since I got out of the seat? And yes, AJ, I did it. I survived. Like, I wanted to go a little bit harsher on that. Ah, <laughs> look at that, it's only 3,000. Only 3,000. All right, let's just, you know. Ah, back to our usual self. Let's see if we can fix that ramp, shall we? Yeah, Michael, playing's fun. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I've made a, I've made a grave mistake. Or have I? Okay, no, it's got, it's got room, okay. All right, Ramp, are you fixed yet? No, you are not. All right, I think I'm going to have to despawn it. That's fine. That's fine. And thank you, Raven. Yeah, Akram. I honestly don't even know if we made the money to cover that, but that was just fun, you know? Just slide down the ladder. I'm going to trust you, Elevator. I mean, this is a mistake for me to do after all of that, but I'm, I'm going to trust the Elevator. Ooh, we made it! Safe and sound. Never going back to Microtech ever again. Never ever. That was awful. Oh, thank you. I, I swear I'm not allowed to be poor in this game. Because of you guys, thank you. I try to stay poor, I just end up giving it all away. Oh my goodness, am I... Okay, I'm surprised I'm not still, you know, frozen. Yeah, Brandon, Star, okay, Star, Maxi, and everybody else keeps throwing money at me, like, I keep trying to be, oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently I am not. I am not. I just, I just. That. Thank you. <laughs> now I can afford my hospital bill. Ah, uh, Brandon, let me get on the train and I'll check. I shouldn't even be jumping here. I just like to hop. Yeah, Crumpet. I'll see you here in just a second. I'm gonna sell this stuff, hit the hospital, not in that order, and be done for the day. Come on! I can't sprint. I can't sprint. Ah, yes! <laughs> Oof! Oof! Oh. I shouldn't have ran out that door, but man. Okay. My God. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm back up to 23 million. Jeez. Ah. Oh. oh, Brandon, I know that feel. I know that feel. Like, I'm not rich in real life, only in Star Citizen. Oh, Moon, double check, man. Yeah, Sarone. 
I mean, I could. All my limbs are at tier three. I can't heal past 68. <laughs> oh, come on, train. There we go. Now arriving. Oh, um, actually, that's being that's weird. 2070 should handle that like a pro. And yeah, Pagan, I think what we're going to do as far as like giving the money at out. We'll probably do it like a raffle system and just do it like every half hour or so. That way I can still continue to play while, you know, doling some out. Oh, I can't even run. Come on. I need to. I need to see a a heal person. Yeah, Norman, where'd you uh? Did, you left the comet yesterday. Looking for a ship, right? Floor four, room one. Oh, Raymond, I'm sorry. Yeah, aquatic. That's that's not a bad idea, actually. Cash clock. Room four, right? My arms, my legs. Didn't they say room four? Oh, floor four, room one. Okay, sorry. Thank you. I. I'm in a lot of pain. All right, Norman, tell you what, I go ahead. I got you, man. What's uh, what's your in-game name? I'll get you hepped out here into a prospector. Hold on. Finally, there we go. Yeah, Phoenix, have a good night, man. Ah, oh, my God. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, Matt, it could easily. You have to find ships that could actually stay together, like a like a terrapin. Do I have to like select these? Oh, I feel so much better. There we go. Oof. I'm alive. I can run around. Oh my god. All right. Norman, let me get this sent to you, man. Then I'm going to go sell this cargo and log out for the day. All right. That'll get you that'll get you into a prospector right there, man. Happy mining. Oh, it feels nice to have my legs back. There was a time when I was in school, uh, back in third grade, I had shattered my leg, and I was in a, a cast for three and a half months. And in the beginning, I had a wheelchair. And uh, everybody suddenly wanted to be my friend, so they could push me around, and I'd make race car noises. And I had a couple of bullies and whatnot, but man, it was such a nice experience to finally be able to walk around again, even just with crutches, because, uh, you know, we've got the ADA, but in Arkansas, that only applies to so many situations, you know? Yeah, Michelle, you're right. I tell you what, if you guys are ever interested, Pagan actually streams over on Twitch, and he usually does the late night shift, so if you can't sleep... Pagan Linux Geek on Twitch. 
He's always getting up to something with him and Ron. Now, Coyote, that is true. I do uh, make a lot of race car sounds. Inclined? I, I don't know. I get good FPS even when I shouldn't sometimes. Ah, yes, I always have a good night, man. I've sold my cargo of processed food that we fought so valiantly to recover. Oh, that's right, John. You said you needed some early. All right. Well, John, I got you. This is going to be the last one of the day. And then we're going to wrap it up here. Because uh, I'm hungry. I am hungry. There we go. John Wick won. All right. There you go, John. Guys... Thank you so much for sticking around for that ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous ship chase. <laughs> that was, whew, that was amazing. Um, yeah, so uh, once again, I will not be here tomorrow. We will resume on Thursday. That's right, Apple. We're going to go get a victory quesadilla from my guy at the taco truck. And, uh... I got D&D &D tomorrow. We'll pick it up again on Thursday. So, guys, please enjoy yourselves. Hydrate, too. Get a little bit more water in you. It's very easy to uh, go a while with not having water. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Be gentle. Be nice. Most importantly, be nice to yourself. And uh, if any of you younger folk out there... Actually, this goes for you older folk, too... Eat your vegetables. Because I know I'm about to. Mostly covered in cheese and chicken inside a quesadilla. Because it's going to be a, you know, a quesadilla. So. Guys, thank you. And until next time, keep on trucking. Have a good night, guys.